Okay, there's some serious eye candy in here for you guys today. Like, serious. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Melissa, aka Mouse Soldera here on YouTube. Today's video is going to be all about Hermes. I have a serious love-hate relationship with Hermes. I love the bags, and on the other hand, I hate that I can't get them. Let's get past that today, and let's talk about the bags that I do have and the new one that I've recently added into my collection. Before we start this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment down below. What are you? Are you a Birkin, Constance, or Kelly type of chick? So if you guys watched uh, one of my latest vintage videos, I had gone to Retaish and I saw a Constance 18, vintage Constance 18 that I was just like, also, like I did the math for you guys, the deal was just too good to pass up. When I was editing the video, I was like, this bag is not going back. This bag is not gonna go back. I know myself, this bag is not gonna go back. And the bag didn't go back. Uh, the bag from that video, I ended up buying. It was way too good of a deal. Retaish had it for 7,900 minus my promo code, 15% off. And I traded in a few bags. I ended up getting it for way too good of a price. So yeah. I'm such a nerd, I love this bag. So I thought in this video we could do kind of like a well-rounded little what's up with my Hermes situation and my handbag collection. As you guys know, I have a Birkin 35 in Togo leather black with palladium hardware that I purchased directly from the Hermes boutique in Montreal. I also have a Birkin 30 Togo leather in blue jean that I purchased on the pre-love market, which I ended up paying a premium for. And now I have the Constance 18 that I also bought from the pre-love market. So first off, I figured I would kind of do the rounds of the Constance 18 with you guys, why I picked it, why I went with this leather. This is actually a size I've been looking for a really long time in the Constance. I feel like people are not gonna love me for saying this, but I feel like the Constance and the Celine, what I call box bag, which is not called the box bag, I'll insert the picture here. I feel like they're very comparable in terms of what they serve a purpose for. I get that this one is Hermes and this one is Celine, um, but in terms of shape, in terms of what they bring to your wardrobe, I feel like they bring the same thing. So I didn't want the larger Constance because I do have two Celine box bags in the medium size that I feel really just like serve that purpose and I love them. So for me, the Constance was truly going to be the 18 or nothing. I love the size, I love the shape. This one is in the box leather, which I love. It is a little delicate, not gonna lie, um, but I do think that this is the only way I would have gone. What I do love, which I don't know if the camera is actually picking up, is this bag is actually navy blue and not black. Let me put black next to it so you guys can see. It is a very dark navy with gold hardware. And navy is actually a color in my wardrobe that I do not actually own a handbag in navy blue. And I love navy blue, I wear navy all the time. Clearly, I'm a lover of the color. I love that it was in gold hardware. I, everything about this bag is right up my alley. It is a short crossbody, which I don't love crossbodies unless they are short. Let me just show you. In my opinion, it is the nice height. I would actually have preferred it even just a little shorter, kind of like the right under the boob height. But this definitely is the perfect crossbody length, size of bag, basically anything I could possibly want in a bag. Hi, let me introduce you to my dream bag. I have a friend who actually has this bag as well and she actually wrapped the top here and she put a scarf like this to kind of block almost the strap from moving. So it became like a top handle with a crossbody, which I love. I did that with my Tante Moting and I just love the option of this strap that you can kind of like top handle, crossbody. I can just show you guys what it looks like when you open it. So you pop it like this, the H, the inside part of the H comes out and this is what the inside looks like. So you have the two compartments and the bag really does accordion out quite a bit. Like it does open up quite a bit. So you actually end up having much more space than the bag looks like it allows to. This bag for me really does fit everything I need in a day. Kind of have a side slit pocket right here in the front, the two middle compartments, and then a back side slit pocket that's a little bit thinner than the front one. I mean, honestly, it's a very 
self-explanatory bag. It's just beautiful. The leather is beautiful. It's it, and it was such a good deal. Like such a, like after my promo code, I can't get over how affordable this bag became. Also, the prices when I tell you 7,900, that's in Canadian dollars. So American dollars, you have to take off like 35% just to do a price comparison. I think I calculated it for you guys in that video and I think it came up to after my promo code like 5,000 for a constant kind of unheard of pricing. So yeah, this needed to stay in my wardrobe and it did. So how does the Constance compare to the Birkin? It's a completely night and day different bag. This bag to me is a bit impractical, but it's so beautiful, I don't really care. Um, this bag is the epitome of a classic super practical, easy bag to work with. You can't go wrong with this bag. Like this bag to me is your typical mom bag, your typical very chic mom bag. You can carry like it's your hands-free, very chic mom bag. Like you're past the stage of carrying a diaper bag and carrying stuff for your kids. You just need like your wallet, your keys, your grab and go. This is your ish. This bag, a little bit impractical because it is top handle. You don't have a strap option, but I mean, Come on, especially mine, like I decked it out with the Lueve Elephant, I have the plastic chain, like, like this bag is practical, but this bag is like, oh, this bag is hot, you know what I mean? Like, so you have it for two different reasons. Like, would I buy one over the other? Absolutely not. Like, I feel like they both serve such a different purpose in my wardrobe. This is like your fun, like kitschy, cute color, bright color, pop of color, doing something cool. Like, this is your standout. And this is your like, I'm a lady who lunches at the Ritz and like, does like chic stuff. This is your like, I do chic stuff, but I'm cool. You know what I mean? In terms of obviously what fits in a Birkin 30 versus the Constance or a Birkin 35. Let me lift up the Birkin 35 here for a bit. Let me switch it out so we can give it some love because this bag is really underloved. So obviously whatever you can fit in a Constance, no matter how big your Constance is, it's not gonna compare in what can fit in a Birkin 25, 30, 35, you name it. Like it's not a comparable bag in terms of what it can fit, but this will definitely fit the essentials. This, as personal experience, you will end up overpacking, carrying your life in it, and then regretting your life the second you left the house because it's gonna weigh so much. So in terms of weight and appreciation and practicality, definitely Constance over Birkin. But damn, she's still cute. She's underused, underappreciated, but she is still cute. You gotta give her that. She's a classic goddess, as is she. So overall with Hermes, do I love the bags? Absolutely. Do I fall into the hype? Absolutely. I am an absolute Hermes victim. I feel like if you can get it at a good price, if you can like trade in a few bags you're not wearing anymore to do it, I'm like, do it. I'm all for it. I am completely over the in-store hype though. I have to say I'm so over that. Like I'm never going back in to buy a bag. Mark my words, you will, unless I, unless they call me, Hermes, call me, call me. You have my list, you have my wish list. If you call me, I will go in and buy it. But I will not actively go seek for a bag, but if you call me, I'll come. Call me Hermes. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right guys, that was it. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you like seeing a little close up on the Hermes Constance 18, as well as a little comparison between the Birkin and the Constance. I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.